Now let's talk about the crazy. Who has been bungee jumping? Okay, so these are our crazy people. The attraction is the risk. Bungee jumping is only for the crazy. Well, and the entrepreneur. In 1994, I took the first commercial bungee jump to Japan. As a certified bungee jump master, I was trained and authorized to push, I mean, assist you off the edge. I would attach this giant rubber band, the bungee cord, to my victim, I mean to my customer, and I would ask, Ideska, Jumbi Stemaska, are you ready? Are you good to go? And they would say, uh-huh. And I would ask, Seguro, and they would say, uh-huh. Who knows what Seguro means? Are you sure? Are you sure? In Spanish. <laughs> I'm in Japan. For years I said, Seguro. And they said, uh huh. I could say anything in any language, and they probably would have nodded, uh huh. They were worried about that impending jump into the abyss. Now, on any weekend, I would probably assist 1,300 people off the tower. On a weekday, it was slower. And up at the top of the tower on a slow day, the brilliant mind wanders. Now for your reference, this is brilliant going forward. This is crazy. <laughs> My brilliant mind wondered if I could jump from the top of the tower without a cord and survive. At the base of the tower was a stuntman airbag. And in theory, one could jump from the top without a cord, eight stories high, hit the airbag, and survive. In theory, I had never seen this done. But I, I consider the crazy ideas. I walk to the edge, look down. I ain't that crazy. <laughs> but the brilliant mind didn't give up. Perhaps I could attach a cord, jump with the cord, wait for the bouncing to stop, and unhook myself. I tried. I jumped, the bouncing stopped, and I couldn't get unhooked. The weight was too much. My buddy lowered me to the ground. Back up to the top of the tower, the brilliant mind continues to work. When I attach the cord to a customer, there's a nine-inch strap that I use with a carabiner on the end of it. I could take two of those, attach it to the end of the bungee cord, and what do I have? Handles. I could jump just hanging onto the bungee cord, wait for the bouncing to stop, and then all I gotta do is let go. <laughs> Brilliant, right? I grabbed my handles. I walked to the edge. I asked myself, Ideska, Jumbi Stemaska. I go, uh huh. Seguro, uh-huh, yeah. and I jumped. Waited for the bouncing to stop, and I let go. Now sometimes the brilliant mind doesn't go far enough. I am essentially, or I am, or I was, hanging from a large rubber band. What's gonna happen when I let go? Well, it's supposed to go up. <laughs> the bungee cord shot to the top of the tower with a loud bang. I went to the mat with a loud slap. It echoed throughout the park. Everybody came running to see who just died. <laughs> Brilliant, crazy, you decide. A monetized, mi a monetized mindset is a little of both. You gotta be willing to try new things, even if there's a little bit of risk involved. Just do it. Venture out into the unknown. See what there is to see. It is 
an important characteristic of a monetized mindset. Always consider the crazy. <laughs>